All right, dogs. Are we going out to work on the bus? Let's go. Let's go work on the bus. Let's go to the bus. Woo! The bus. Hey, it's over this way. There comes a time in a prison bus owner's life when the old, rusted, wiggly, and nasty lock on the front door just has got to go. Melissa was nice enough to get me a beefy new set of hasps and locks, and I was eager to get them installed. Now, drilling this first hole for the new lock kind of sent me back back to the dozens of other holes I've drilled in this old bus. And the back door got the other matching hasp that's keyed to the same key as the one up front. Big bucket of bolts for big jobs. That's it, that's it. It's worth noting, in case you're installing one of these babies yourself, that you really gotta dial in the two sides of the hasp. If they don't match up perfectly, the lock just won't slide on. So on the left side, I slipped a few washers around back of the bolts, and then the two sides made it up just right. Out of the box, the locks were a little bit sticky with the key not coming out perfectly, so I lubed them both up with some graphite powder, ran the keys through them a million times, and both locks loosened up nicely. Graphite powder for locks because it doesn't gum up. Oh, and you get to see the new hole. The dogs were nice enough to dig for me right by the front door of the bus. I guess we were all busy working on something. I love the new locks. Thank you so much, Melissa. Big day. I finally realized that I'm done with the back stairs I've been using all this time to get in and out of the back of the bus. The stairs were on long-term loan from my neighbor Jeff and were probably the most useful thing I had on hand for the entire build. They were just perfect and i um, kind of sad to see them go.
All right, so I've got a little bit of a predicament with my 12 volt wiring setup, and let me try to explain it. All right, so when I set it up, I set up four 12 volt circuits, and you can see I've got three hooked up right now. One, two, three on these different fuses. Uh, one, two, three uh, white, you know, return wires. One, two, three red hot wires, dude. But there are four circuits, so. Basically what happened is that somewhere in my conduit, remember I ran all this conduit, I've got three 12 volt circuits coming out, but this guy is supposed to have two, two circuits coming out, so it's got one. There's another one somewhere buried back in that tube. So what does that mean in the bus? Well, currently I've got my LED lights over here, which are working pretty good, and I've got LEDs in the back in the bed area and uh, this is a nice setup back here so I've got LEDs in the back LEDs in the front that's two the third one is my water pump but I've got a whole another circuit that I can't get to enervate right now and that is uh, supposed to be hooking up right here so basically I have a back hall light which I was looking forward to setting up, it's not getting juice because that circuit's not coming out in the box. So here's my solution. I'm gonna show you this, this is kind of wild. Um, under here, this is under my bed. So basically my theory is that um, this 12 volt run right here is the one that at some point early on in the build, I kind of tugged on it and pulled it out of the conduit. So I think what we're gonna do is cut it um, at a place where I can splice it. And I think it's gonna be over here. I think I'm gonna cut it right over here and then I'll have this loose and I can run it back down through the conduit and hopefully it'll pop out on the other side. Then if that happens, I can add a little bit of wire here and this is an okay place to put a junction box. And I will uh, connect that wire back together and we should be all right. So that's so cool. All right, so my theory was right. Uh, this guy is looking pretty good. It's actually not gonna be enough wire. So I'm just going to have to tag on some new, new wire and uh, pull this through so I have a fresh single piece that um, is gonna be great. See if I can pull them both through here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. All right, got the red wire through. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right, now as I install this hall light, I gotta say that Melissa, my style advisor, thinks it ended up looking a little bit ghetto. Okay, she didn't say ghetto. She said it looked unfinished in the end or something like that. What with exposed wires and everything. And I kind of see her point. You'll see yourself. But I think you should be the judge on this one. I don't know. I kind of like it. There's something I like about it. But maybe that's just because it's done and working and lighting up the hallway. I don't know. I sort of don't want to redo it. I sort of do. If I do redo this hall light, like I've redone so many other things on this bus, it would likely be with a light up higher. 
uh, where the where the wall meets the ceiling, running the wires up there in some kind of surface mount conduit. And I think that would look okay. Anyway, if you want to weigh in, let me know in the comments. I could definitely use a little advice. Obviously, a 12 volt system is just one of the lighting systems. There's also a, a 110 straight up like household lights when you're running on shore power. And there's another set of 12 volt lights uh, like right here and right here that run through the bus. And uh, those lights are just keyed when the bus is on and drawing from the you know alternator and the battery, those lights can run as well. Thanks for checking out my updates to the prison bus. In my next video, you're going to see me welding up a killer rack for these propane tanks. Uh, probably out of some of the steel in this old guard seat I've had hanging around for a while. And maybe pieces of these old cages from the days of incarceration on the prison bus. I'm Meta Spencer on Instagram and Facebook and Patreon and here on YouTube. Comments and subscriptions and shares are greatly appreciated. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you in the next build. Wait for it. Yes, that was my toe.